Hi, I'm Dan Canary, President and Co-Founder of The Harpoon Brewery. Hi, I'm Rich Doyle. I'm the CEO and Co-Founder of The Harpoon Brewery. Welcome to Harpoon. Let's show you around. We, we met uh, freshman week, actually, at Harvard. We were in the same dorm uh, freshman year. So this side of it has changed the friendship side of it. In fact, because we work in the same place, we get to see each other more than I get to see other of my friends. So it probably helps maintain a friendship better because we work together. Dan tends to focus on operations and finance, and I tend to focus on sales and marketing. So, uh, but we, we certainly both have input into all the big decisions of the company. So why don't we head inside now? We can show you the inside of the brewery where we make the beer. The story of Harpoon, really for our 25 plus year history on the waterfront in Boston is one of growth and adaptation. We're, we're a city brewery and as you can tell from looking around you, we have to use every square inch of our space. And we're going in, out, and up to take advantage of this wonderful 45 foot ceiling facility where they used to build destroyers during the Second World War. Where we are now is the floor of the brewery uh, and the brew house is really around us. We were originally 5,200 square feet, and now we're about 47,000 square feet here, and we have a second brewery up in Vermont. You know, the idea behind starting Harpoon was that we were uh, beer drinkers who didn't like the choices we had. We looked into starting a small brewery and having good beer to drink ourselves. And we've been fortunate enough to travel in Western Europe and stumble upon various towns with wonderful local breweries. And you'd go to a, a town in England and you'd discover this beer you'd never heard of and the color and cloudiness and tastes and smells you've never imagined possible. And it would be incredibly exciting if you were a beer drinker. And then you came back to the States and it was really the same light lager choice coast to coast. And this, really the question we asked is why can't we have this in the United States? When we went into bars trying to sell Harpoon, which we both did, we had a very steep curve educationally to tell people what fresh local beer could be if done properly. We, we've had a, a long process of education. We didn't have, you know, consultants. We didn't have mentors, really. We really had to learn it as we, as we went along. And one of the tough parts about competition is you better learn quicker than you think because you have to get up to speed, you have to be able to be competitive. There's a lot of things to get right in this business. So